Oh, that's cool. Okay, so what's in here? So I'm assuming this is where they actually went to then. Oh my god, I feel like I'm getting turned around. This is very hard to keep track of. Okay. Okay. Oh, we just have a ritual thing here. Oh my god. All right. And there's lots of symbols of... Is this the frog? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's like an ostrich. Anteater. Fish. Another kind of... I guess it's a bug? There's the, the sunner. God. Yeah, the music... I mean, the music generally in this game is very good. A uh, hummingbird. Oh. Oh, there's switches. Okay. Um, big fish. Like, uh, another kind of anteater? <laughs> ah, the wark. Uh, bunny? Uh, hippopotamus of some kind? Yeah, that's gotta be the sunner, right? Um, what else? Tadpole? Kinda, it's kinda like a frog. Uh, like a crane. What else we got? A bug? Oh! This looks like the thing in the water. Is that what it was telling us? Was that telling us that, that that's the sound of the bug? Uh, like an, a giraffe moose? A jamoose? Okay. Uh, no, that's the jamoose. Uh, alligator. Uh, a toucan slash pelican? Uh, <laughs> I don't even know. A pig? Another fish. Okay, uh, like a vole of some kind? Oh, interesting. Interesting, okay. So, are these the eye symbols then? So I can raise that back up, okay. Okay, um, man. Okay, because all of the eyes have a number, right? Um, the D symbol is two. One is water. But we don't know what the sound of it is. So it could be the sunner. So K is three. So frog is three. Uh, work is five. Bug is two. And goat. We don't know what that sound is or what it is though. It's the one by the knife and that's four. So we know one was found in the water we, and we know the sound of the goat, but we don't know what it goes to. Like, there's so many animals here. Okay. I guess maybe we'll get to see another one at some point. Maybe there's one at another island. Oh, man. All right. Very cool. So we found out where that goes. And then what is this? Okay. So maybe this opens up this thing or maybe something happens with this. Uh, Yeah, it looks like it's like a vault door or something. Okay. Okay, so we found out where the eyes go to. We should definitely go back to that journal, though, because there was also the drawing with the rotated numbers. And I wonder if there's a clue in there of how to interpret it. Because I would guess that it moves it by base 10, but I'm not sure which direction. So can I ride this back down? No. Okay, uh, I guess the only way for me to get down is with the ladder then, right? I don't see another switch around here. Okay. But I guess, isn't the submarine trapped there then? Like, can I not get back onto it? Like, how, can I call the submarine thing? I don't think so. Okay. I guess maybe we're done with it? I don't know. Interesting. Okay, well, either way. Let us go. So we need to take the minecart. The minecart will take us to the other island. Oh my god. And wha bam. We also never took this back, which, you know, there might be something on a wall or something that might help us. Because I do have, I wonder if there's an animal somewhere on one of these islands we haven't seen yet. 
Well, I mean, obviously there's many animals, but specifically the one that makes like the... Oh. Because we can maybe assume that that is... It might be the, the coelacans, the sunners. It might be, but it's hard to tell because they don't make a ton of sound. But that might, it, they might also be number one. Like, they might be water. I want to I take a look at that note again. And this is why you always note everything when you see it as best as you can in these games. And then, the jump scare. <laughs> okay, that was very good the first time. Oh, also... Because the power runs here. What happens? Oh, hold on, hold on. I just had a curiosity. Is that, can I rotate it back to here? I can. Okay. So is there anything I can do? Wait, hold on. Is there even more over here? Uh, wait, what is, what is here? Why, why are you letting me walk over here? Uh, just sand? It's sand. Sand, more sand. Great. Okay, can, can, can I turn this on? This is like their pulping machine, right? Hmm. Yeah, if the chipper was on, it would not be a good time. Okay, so I can go up here. And what happens if I turn this on? Not good things. Not good things. I am very glad this is not on when we come down the chute. Okay, so... It just turns on the pulper. I guess maybe it's just showing us, like it's a demonstration of how this works. Like it's just letting you know that this thing is the thing that transfers the power around this area. Uh, oh, oh, and we also, exactly. You know, you have to have someone, you know, Gen is many evil things, but he is OSHA compliant, okay? So I have to go uh, here and then we climb in the vent, right? I believe that's right. I think? I think so. Yeah. Okay. All right, so back to here. Yeah, you're a very wordy man. I guess it makes sense considering you create with books. Okay, so that seems to be the tablet that the, the rebels are using, right? Okay. Yeah, it's this. Last week, while monitoring the situation of the villages from the scope of my survey room, I observed one of the natives swim out to a small object that appeared to be floating, but anchored near the entrance to the bay. I ordered the object removed from the water for inspection. Several days later, however, I was surprised to see another floating there. The missing object had apparently and quite mysteriously been replaced with a new one overnight. I've long been aware of the existence of similar artifacts on the village's islands, but have paid little notice until now. Uh, until now, tomorrow I shall uh, send surveyors to catalog the others. Okay, so this was in the water by the bay. Um, maybe that's the coelacan then. Okay, then if that's the coelacan, then what's the goat sound? Oh boy, oh boy. All right, um, anything else here? I believe there was, was there not another journal around here about the numbers that we saw. Anything with these, no failed books, more failed books. Oh, the bay is the area with the submersible rail vehicle. So that, huh. Then what would that be? Have we seen another creature there? Yeah, we saw these little egg things. Okay. Due to the Rebels' continued disturbances, I've decided to install a coded access system into all of the... Oh! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! These are for the domes. I forgot about that. Okay. So, there's five of them, and there are five, like, um... What would you call those things? Like, sliders on, on the, the lock, right? So, is this the combination for it, then? Like, the intervals at which they're set? So, okay, if, if that's the case, here's my note for that. First one is five, huh. But then, is this, is this in, increasing it by 10? So is this now 12 plus two? 
So I guess let's maybe write down that as 14. And I think these are all, yeah, I drew these all correctly. Okay. And then this would be, uh, this would be, I guess, 16. So 5, 14, 16. And then K is 3. So would that be, no, that, that can't be 13, can it? No. That would be less than it. Why would you put that ahead of it? Or unless I, I'm, I just have to put it on these numbers. Because this is two rotations of that. Wait, what? So it's two plus 14? What? No, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, there's a symbol 410. Oh, I thought it only went up to nine. Oh, okay. I guess I'll have to go back for that. I just need to figure out how I turn this into numbers between one and I guess, what was it, 30? Ah, huh. then the number for 10 would, yeah, definitely would help a lot. Okay. Yeah, like, oh man. Because I, like, the, the 10 symbol, I feel like, would make the biggest difference. So we should go back then, since we don't have the 10 symbol, to figure out what that looks like. Because I thought I had 1 through 5, and that would make all the numbers. Oh, wait, of course. We also need to do this. Yes, 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 yes. Because we need to lower the drawbridge. Oh, right. We took the thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, now is a good time to test, I guess. Because wasn't one of those blue buttons in here I guess we can find out if it does call the gondola oh I sure hope it does otherwise I'm gonna have to do a lot of backtracking where was it oh there it is okay uh. <laughs> who knows okay uh let's step out here because I'm trying to remember if there was anything out to the right of here that we missed because we went over here oh this was where it was never mind never mind never mind okay uh, is there... Yes, okay, the lever's here. Okay, so if I lower this, can I now get onto this side of the... Yeah! <laughs> Progress! Excellent, okay. Any other switches on this thing? No, not yet, at least. Uh, there's the wheel over there. And... Are you telling me I can't jump? I can't... Oh, it's the trap! Oh, I wonder if that raises a... Oh. Okay, so maybe it's an elevator then. Or maybe it's... It just, like, l raises a platform here? Are you telling me you can't skip over that? Come on. Oh. That looked like the symbol in the wall. I'm hearing mechanical machinations. Aha. Okay. So I wonder what, what that did below then. Yeah, look, there's the, the, the marble here. Okay. Oh god, this is also brand new. Oh nuts. We've already we've already gotten sidetracked. Wait, is this just the interior? Oh! Cause remember there was a door. Yeah, because that's the opening from the the entrance. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm seeing now how we can do what we were thinking about earlier, about lowering... Yeah, this does do that. Okay, so this connects now around to the opening. So now, now, we can raise this... And it'll turn into stairs. And we can go around. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Boom. That is a real light bulb moment. Oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. Excellent. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so now we can get back and turn the room around. Oh, hell yes. Oh, excellent. Okay. Yes, it is turning off screen. I believe you, game. This is a great way to save on the animation, right? You know, just play the sound effect again, it's fine. Uh, okay, so... How did we access- Oh, I think we went back to the entrance. That's how we accessed the pathway into the Golden Dome, right? 
So I think we just have to turn the room around until we can get out of here to the other opening. Oh, hell yes. Uh, good. Okay, I was like, why, why is this not working? There we go. Perfect. Okay. Oh, oh, perfect. Okay, okay. We can now get out through here. Excellent. And now we can rotate the room around from here and then get to the Golden Dome. So I'm assuming because it's stairs, it'll take us up a floor. But weren't we already on the second floor? Unless, I guess maybe there's a, like a, an upper level that we can't get or see. Okay, now let's take a look. Aha, perfect. So this should now let us walk upstairs. Yeah. Okay, what the hell is happening here? Okay, there's something here. It's a slider and a button? Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess you have a printing press up here. Um, cool? I, is this a good thing or not a good thing? Also, do any of these other things, are there any of these buttons? It, it, this would be a great spot to hide a switch. Okay, I guess let's race it back. Hmm. Yeah, it's just making mystery waffles. I, myself, am a big lover of the waffle over the pancake. Oh, waffles are the, I, besides like, okay, if we're, if we're taking in fancy breakfasts, then I would probably say crepes are maybe the best breakfast dessert, but waffles are like right underneath it. Oh, okay. Oh God, I love waffles. They're just, they're perfect. They are both fluffy and crispy. It's like, you know, having like an edge piece of a pizza, but every bite has edge piece in it. It's so good. What the hell is this? What? Okay. Can I change these? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, what? There are so many possibilities here. Oh my God. It's, it's a waffle press, all right. The waffle press of nightmares. Can I walk across it? Can I not get to the other side? Okay. Oh, jeez. All right. Uh, <laughs> is there any rhyme or reason? There's like lines on it. Like, did these matter? Okay. Oh, are these the shapes? Um... It's hard to kind of see them. The lines aren't super strong, but it looks like, okay, this one looks like the square with one. This is the one. Uh, this is the three by three with the two. This is the L piece, and I guess this would be the square then? Okay. So there are six colors associated with the shapes. I guess. All right. Uh, I guess I'll just write down because on I have the two drawings side by side. I'll just write down red in the order that they are here. Orange. Oh boy. Yellow. Green. Man, this would be a really bad time to be colorblind, huh? And purple. Yeah, this is this is the before time of making games more colorblind accessible because boy, oh boy. That would be pretty much impossible. So, okay. So what happens if I, hmm, just out of curiosity, if I put one on, does it do anything? Or do they all need to be on? Does it reset it? Uh, okay. <laughs> uh... No, but it is missing here. Okay, so it didn't like push it, like it didn't make a new one. Oh boy. Oh my God. This seems like a lot. Okay, so we have some components of this puzzle. We have five shapes, six colors. So do one of the shapes have two colors or is one of them a misdirect? So all of them belong, I'm assuming on different spots. Does it matter? Like, what happens if I get it wrong? Okay. Uh, I guess I'll put two on the big one. So yeah, there's them all. Just out of curiosity. Huh. 
Yeah, does it do anything if they're just all there? Nothing different. Okay, all right. I'm guessing I'm missing... Oh! Oh! Okay, there's also a button in it. Okay, it's not just the slider. I thought this might be a light. Okay. All right, so there is a button. I'm assuming if they're in the correct positions, you can then press the button? Oh, nuts. Okay. All right, well, there's some information we're missing. There's two crucial bits of information we're missing. The the connection between the rest of the sounds and the puzzle ritual room and how to associate the colors with the shapes. Oh boy.